watching SEC Network Football presented by Allstate as we are in Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium for this annual rivalry played at Jerry's World, Arkansas, Texas A&M. Two teams certainly with a lot to play for as it's getting serious in SEC football. Has won 10 of the last 11, but they have been some exciting finishes to say the least. As Texas A&M won the toss, they defer, so Arkansas will get the foot 31st start of his career. Line up in that shotgun formation. They'll fake it to Sanders and try to run it with KJ, and he is met immediately. Got it back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it, and it'll be tough sledding against that front four at a very high level for Texas A&M. They'll run out of that pistol, throw it back, pass is caught out there on the far side by Tesla, and he is dropped immediately, lost a half a yard in the process. Bryce Anderson comes up, the sophomore country, and getting off the field on third downs. They stop their opponents 80% of the time on third downs. Don't stop them here. They find a tight end, Luke Haas, who had an exceptional game last week, comes up with another catch here, six catches a week ago. First out and 10 after that 14-yard pickup. Jefferson stands in the pocket, bounces off one defender, can't bounce off the second defender, and he's dropped back at the 35. That'll be a loss of four. And for Arkansas, on second down and 14. They'll hand it off to Rocket Sanders. Boy, he is met immediately. Fidel Diggs. Boy, just a phenomenal start for the true freshman. Let's hope that's not serious. Some pressure comes on the edge. Jefferson has plenty of time. Over the middle passes. They're going to say caught there for a first down across the midfield stripe by Andrew Armstrong, who now has 25. Satania goes in motion. They will toss it to him, and... We'll get it out to the 47-yard line. So a gain of a couple on the play for Isaiah Satania, who's one of the best touch in a couple of weeks. Andrew Armstrong in motion to the formation. They hand it off to Rocket Sanders, and he is met for a gain of about a yard. Shamar Stewart this time stepping up to make the play to lead the 10-plus. Jefferson. Steps up in that pocket, trying to run for it. Has some room. He's to the 40, had the first down out of bounds at the 35-yard line. A gain of 10, maybe 11 for Big KJ. And off left side, Rocket Sanders with a nice cut. He's to the 30. Give him a gain of five on the play. It's hard to maintain game conditioning when you're not out there. Rashad DeBinion. In the game at running back, but Jefferson will keep it. Bounces off a defender and has another first down inside the 25-yard line before Bryce Anderson finally takes him to the turf. Defender Jacoby Matthews triggering from the secondary. KJ Jefferson swarmed and dropped back at the 35-yard line. McKinley Jackson, Edger and Cooper get the job done for Texas A&M, a loss of eight. Just a three-man rush initially, and you see off the edge, Cooper able to defeat the block of risky defense. Sack and a half already from McKinley Jackson. High snap. Here's the Binion, and he is taken down at the point of attack by Walter Nolan. Three on this opening drive of the game on third down conversions. Jefferson, near side pass. We're going to say incomplete. Looked like there was a pop in the back on Tesla. Jacoby Matthews was in coverage. A little career long, 51. He's done that twice. This kick is on the way. It has got more than wow. enough juice to get there. My goodness, it hit the All-State net from 52. <laughs> that ball almost, I mean, it went, it could have gone over the uprights. Good, thankfully. It was phenomenal with 110 yards receiving and 100 yard kickoff return. It's hard to believe A&M's won 10 of 11 because these games have been so exciting for the moment. To Bobby Petrino, you touched on it. There was uh, no denying that Coach Petrino felt like Max Johnson was very comfortable in this offense, and he was very comfortable with Max running the show. The first Mississippi State, and now back under center for the Aggies. Johnson under pressure. Buys a little bit of time and gets it out to his tied in for the catch there by Max Wright who then 
fights his way to the 35, and they'll move the chains. That'll be a first down and a pickup of seven. Chris Paul, four-man rush. Johnson to throw again. Has Noah Thomas. He breaks a tackle out over the 40 to the 42-yard line. Gain of six. Noah been a little banged up the last couple of weeks. Also going on with Noah. And off to the right side. Only a gain of a yard. Left conference and stopping third down conversions. Empty set. Max Johnson. Little pump fake and then gets it to an Aya Smith. He's across midfield and walloped around the 38 yard line. But that'll move the sticks after a 21 yard game. Great job keeping his eyes downfield. A little bit of pressure. See him just kind of slide in the pocket. That's an off balance throw from Max Johnson. Nice arm strength. Yards per reception for the graduate out of Missouri City, Texas. Johnson throws again to the outside. Boy, he's hitting everybody. That one is Moss with the reception out of the backfield. He'll get it down to the 29-yard line, about a yard shy of the line to gain. Brad, or Max Johnson, 4-4 four four to start this game. They'll do a little end around to Evan Stewart. Trying to get everybody a touch here on this opening drive, but that was played about as well as you could play it by that Arkansas defense. They was able to buy just enough time to deliver a strike to Smith. Some pressure coming. Johnson throws it up, has a man pass, caught Evan Stewart. Touchdown, Texas A&M, 32 yards. That was about as well a run a possession as you could get from a quarterback. <laughs> five for five, 73 yards and a touchdown. I think that's about as pretty as you could draw it up. A couple of third down conversions in there as well. Randy Bond to attempt the point after. That kick is all the way. Each team has had one possession. Each team has scored. Although A&M's was for the touchdown. Evan Stewart with his fourth touchdown reception of the year, 7-3 Aggies. Xavier Leggett, maybe the most productive receiver, maybe the most important receiver in the whole conference right now for Carolina. Satania, he'll bring it out from the end zone. And he is out to the 24-yard line. Stitz, let's go back to that. 2.30 to go in the opening quarter, 7-3. A&M leads Arkansas with a nice 14-play drive to start things off. 54 and receiver on third. Now caught a pass in 21 straight games. Boy, Jefferson trying to get rid of the football, and he does so. Pocket collapsed. There's and Dominic Johnson in the backfield. He'll split Sanders out. Looking that way, K.J. decides to come near side pass. Almost caught there, dropped at the last moment by Isaac Tesla. There are no flags. Back there in coverage was Jacoby Matthews. Well, Tesla had it in his hands. This is one thing they've done a great job. A good job by Matthews. She is a right hand. The left hand came across, shaped the pocket, and convert with a scramble. Jefferson trying to set up a screen to Sanders. They do so. Sanders cuts it back at midfield, has some running room. Sanders to the 30. To the 25 and drop at the 24 yard line. A gain of 38 for the Hawks. Jefferson does a great job. Look at him drift just enough. He's so tall, he can see over the rush, allows them to bait up two or three more steps. And that was just enough to be effective with the ball in his hands there. Stutter step at the line. Looks like he's got some burst now after the big pickup as he takes it down to the 15-yard line. A couple yards. He's healthy. He's one of the best. Out now for DeBinion in there in the backfield. And out of the pistol. They will hand it to number seven. DeBinion trying to pick up the first down. He'll have it at the 12. So a guy that you could easily you could sneak him out in this portion of the field. Big target there. They'll hand it off left side to DeBinion. Take it in. Big targets down here. 
He'll run the other way with it with K.J. Jefferson, and he is tripped up. Somebody got his shoes over there. I believe that was Torrey and York. Yeah, it's a great job by York. Down and four, they can get a first down around the two. K.J. looking, looking. A little slow mesh developing, and well, all it did was let the defensive line develop a wall. First one there, McKinley Jackson. I think they were counting on, it was expecting more pressure here. It was only a three-man rush. You mentioned it, really delayed for him. This from 25 yards, and he will split the upright. So Cam Little has produced three more points for his Hogs. Seven, six are scored here in Arlington. It's Vanderbilt. Wow, another interception to set up that score. Wildcats deep, balling. That one sails through the end zone. And a good read. We had a couple, got a little run in there and got, got a good play or two. He had good bounce, and I thought he controlled the game very well. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. He'll throw it again. It has Anaya Smith inside Arkansas territory, down to the 46-yard line, a 29-yard pickup, and Max Johnson has been perfect out of the locker room. Throwing it on first down. Tons of space. It's a beautiful pocket. Four rushers. Great job by the offensive front. He delivers it. Leaks a little bit late there, but tons of room to look downfield and hit Smith. On first down, they will hand it off to Amari Daniels. And I'm going to go back to a comment you just mentioned. I feel now that time he did it actually under duress with a little pressure late. Three-man rush. Unload. Pass caught there by his brother, Jake Johnson. Those two hooked up for a touchdown. Jake's first collegiate touchdown. Going to bounce right off of him. <laughs> Third and short. Third down and about a yard. Daniels, left side. First down and more inside the 25. Brought down there by Jaden Johnson, a gain of 14. Boy, great push by the offensive front. Good job by Layden Robinson and Bryce Foster. Time out for an injured player. He's been banked up. They'll hand it off to Amari Daniels, who was hit almost immediately as he got back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 11. Pressure comes from the outside. They pick it up across the middle, and this one is incomplete. They were trying to hit Jaday Walker, who has nine catches and a touchdown on the year. They're trying to affect the passer. Empty set on third down. Johnson throws a bullet. That one is incomplete. There are no flags trying to hit Walker again. I think, I think they, the Aggies thought they might have a free play there. They go with the bluff cadence. Johnson, once again, heat coming on him. And boy, McLaughlin, there was definitely contact before the ball got there. Here's Bond, 42-yard field goal attempt, leads the SEC with nine makes on the year, and you can give him 10. Now 10 out of 12. Three more on the board for the Aggies. They lead it by four, second quarter football. And their 11 previous meetings in this massive structure. Bond will kick it off to the goal line. Satania near side. Hurdles a man and lost the football. Got to have the football, son. Hand it off to Rocket Sanders. Boy, it always looks like he is just one man away from breaking one of these. Couldn't count okay. They'll fake it to him this time. KJ tries to step up in the pocket, and he is dropped. Walter Nolan with another big play for the Aggies. A loss of a yard. Tesla goes in motion. Pressure comes again on KJ. He tries to go to Tesla and backpedaling through it a little bit low, and it's incomplete, and it'll be fourth down. They were able to do so here. Max Fletcher to punt it away. Boy, this wow. is a booming, tight spiral that hits at the goal line. And does it go out of bounds? They're going to say touchback. Boy, that didn't miss by much. Max. Oh, whistle will stop play here. Ball start. Max 
Alex Johnson says that one's against uh, them, but it won't be, Max. Number 64, five-yard penalty. It remains first down. Let's get an injury update from now, Alyssa. He has that little smirk on his face, and they're going back under the tent with him. Johnson will swing it. Le'Veon Moss. He will get it out over the 25 to the 27-yard line. The Moss catch, run after catch, able to negate a lot of that loss. On second and three, here is Moss. Big hole, spins, dives to the 41-yard line. 14-yard game. Nice blocking there on the right side of the front. Crown over it, right tackle. Does a great job climbing up, securing that edge. And Moss was clean to the edge of the line of scrimmage. Had a career high 97 yards last week against Auburn. This time he is met right in the hole by Jaheen Thomas. Johnson hit immediately. Well, there was just nowhere to go. Six at the line of scrimmage. They'll send three, drop eight. Oh, what a throw by Max Johnson. Hits Anaya Smith in traffic inside the 40. Maybe his best throw of the day, a gain of 20. They show pressure. Six up on the line of scrimmage, only three come. Everybody's bailing out. It's a net. Look at those three Razorback defenders. They're practically standing on top of one another. And Anaya Smith just sits down. Soft zone. Smith has been big. Play fake. Max Johnson will keep it, and he'll be pushed out of bounds. And there's a great example. You and I just chatted before the game today. We're talking on that first down. Peyton Manning was so great at that. Again, keeps it, and well played there on the outside by Dwight McLeather, the senior out of Houston, Texas. But now... Pressure comes. Max Johnson has to just throw it to the turf. Let's see if there are any flags. They're going to say that Thomas was in the area, but Trajan Jeffcoat totally disrupted that play. There is no foul for additional grounding. Number three is in the area. Fourth down. Well, Jeffcoat, he's just kind of hanging. He was playing the backside all the way. Did not bite. He did. Two, this one from 40. Nine yards, the kick is on the way, and this has plenty of juice, and it hits the upright. He hit it so hard, it is still swaying. Tribute in the football. Yep. Just focus on that game. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Yeah, we'd love to have you, Chris. First out at 10. About right. the red zone on a previous possession. Well, nowhere for DeBinion to go. Boy, the defensive front right now causing some serious problems for that Arkansas O-line. Yeah, it was just a field goal, a couple of field goals anyway, or attempts, and a punt. K.J. Jefferson. He's not going to make it to the 34 and dropped right there by Fidel Diggs. Another big play for number 10. Arkansas, Anaya Smith will stand at the 20-yard line. Flag is down at the line of scrimmage. This will be down inside the 20 yard line, but let's see what the impact this flag will have on the play. Oh, wow. I fourth and less than a yard. Play clock down to eight. There's the snap. Hand off to Sanders. Right side, and he didn't get it. He got tripped up in the backfield. McKinley Jackson making the play. Watch the adjust, a and adjust. So they had big bodies all in the middle. McKinley Jackson comes free. Great job by Jackson. If he doesn't make that play, Sanders has got that first down. Look at DJ. From the 39, you're asking your Arkansas defense to come up and make a stand. Johnson all day to throw, near side, dumps it off to Daniels. He's out of bounds. That'll be a gain of about four. Some movement up front. That'll back up Texas A&M. 
Somewhere on that left side of the Ball line. start on the offense, number 42, five-yard penalty. Second down and 11. Johnson. That one is incomplete. Tried to hit Jade Walker. He had it for a moment, came out of his hands. And now it's third and 11. I guess Smith in these situations. Third down and 11. Johnson coming this way to his brother Jake, who makes a remarkable catch for a first down at the 26 yard line. Boy, he barely got his head turned around, and the ball was on him for a gain of 15. That's a big body. You're coming into this game. Jake Johnson was the third. Well, he almost lost it, too. Well, he had both hands on it, both thighs on it. He used everything. Every appendage got in on that reception. Daniel shifts to the right on first down. Boy, a huge conversion for the Aggies here before halftime. They'll swing it out. Pass caught by Moose Muhammad. And Moose is down to the 16-yard line. Texas A&M going fast. Max Johnson keeps it. He's inside the 15, down to the 14-yard line. Daniels in the backfield. Johnson steps up in the pocket. He's to the 10 and dives forward down to the seven. A little bit shy of the line to gain. Jaheim Singletary there to, to the hash mark. Was able to get off the field. Handed off right side. Moss bounces off one defender, two defenders. He's inside the five. First and goal for Texas A&M. Some tough running by the sophomore at a Walker, Louisiana. Crown over and Moss in the backfield. They'll play fake it. Johnson throws. Touchdown, Ernest, crown over. It's the same play, except this time it's play action. Instead of handing it off to Moss, crown over, the lead by, back to the edge of the right side of the formation. He slips out there as a receiver. It's an easy ball for Max Johnson and a walk-in touchdown. That's the second catch of the year for Crownover, and they've both gone for touchdowns. And just 13 seconds left on the clock. Here is Bond to attempt the point after. It is good. A&M has 225 total yards of offense, and Max Johnson, 13 of 17, 169, and two touchdowns, including this one. So here's Crownover. Last time he was a lead blocker. This time he becomes a receiver. It's the same look for the defense. Are we handing it off? Heavy play fake. We just dump it. Crownover, he did fall away in the offside penalty. Kind of faded him into the fourth down attempt. Little pooch kick, fair catch called for at the 21-yard line. Goal. They just haven't done much since. There is Sanders. He's running around and through a couple of guys. That was a long run to pick up six yards. Don't forget, coming up here in a matter of moments, you can watch the live order. They get the ball first here. Through the end zone, out to the 25-yard line. Got nicked up in the first half. Oh, that ball's picked off. That's how you start a third quarter. Snacks Johnson. Second quarter ended. Wow. I mean, I don't know how you can draw this up any better. This one will again will sail through the end zone and out to the, to that. You don't need any talk. You just need the pep and you got it. And then they give it to Amari Johnson, Amari Daniels, who takes it out over the 30 to the 34-yard line, a gain of nine. 
They needed a big play. Go with Daniels again off the right side, and he should have enough for the first down out to the 36-yard line. In the lineup here today so far. Bringing some heat are the Hogs. Max Johnson feels it, has a lot of room to run. He's to the 40, inside the 35, and down at the 32-yard line. A gain of 32. Well, they brought pressure, as you mentioned. It's well picked up. You see Johnson press up in the pack pocket late. There was just nothing to the right side. A nice block downfield from Anaya Smith. Make amends from that miss earlier. Johnson, this one's almost picked off. Instead, it's caught by the tight end, Max Wright, who is inside the 20, down to the 19-yard line. Man, the Arkansas sideline was so excited because they thought, man, Snacks is about to gobble another one up. And you could see Max Wright double clutch that catch. Robinson just a few inches shy of making that play. And Max Johnson layered that ball in there perfectly for Wright. First out of 10. And off to Daniels, left side. He is walloped at about the 18-yard line. Down game. Moss in the game at tailback. Here comes some pressure. Moss picks up the blitz, and the pass is dropped inside the five. And that's going to be another drop for Jade Walker. Third down and eight. Johnson throws. He hits Anaya Smith around the 12, but that's about three yards shy of the line to gain. Bonds hit from 42, missed from 49, this from 29. And a flag is down before the play and a false start. I'll back him up five. False start on the offense, number 78. That's a five yard penalty, and it remains fourth down. Kick on the way, and it is dead solid perfect. So they give up the pick six for a touchdown, and then they answer with a field goal. End of the last 11 in this series. Short kick, certainly returnable for Isaiah Satania. Satania out over the 25 to the 27 yard line. Well, we have two. Handoff, Sanders gets behind his blockers and picks up a nice seven, eight yards, maybe nine by the time they get him to the turf. Walter Nolan hanging on. All the way around. <laughs> Devin Manuel got the short end of that stick. J.J. Jefferson keeps it, and he is back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, the A&M defensive front got there in a hurry, allowing Bryce Anderson to come in from his edge to one for their last five. A.J. Jefferson just takes it off the right side, and he's not going to get there. Matter of fact, he lost yeah. a yard. A&M to go with the football. A frustrated K.J. Jefferson. Fair catch called for by Smith at the 25-yard line. That's where the Aggies will set it up. And then a third and a less than a yard, you punt it away. Here's Reuben Owens in at running back. Our first look at the talented true freshman from El Campo High School here in Texas. Five-star running back. That he's definitely got burst through that line of scrimmage. Johnson tucks it, and he is walled. Lost to football. Arkansas has it at the 35-yard line. Recovered by Brad Spence. I think that was Jordan Crook in there that forced the fumble. He put his helmet right on the ball. And Max Johnson leaving, holding that left hand. Watch Johnson got the ball on the inside arm, and Crooks put his helmet right on the button. Ball comes out. And you Hawks back in business at the 35 on first down. K.J. Jefferson keeps it, and he is wrapped up. But Arkansas has done about as good a job as anybody I have seen on getting K.J. Jefferson to the ground. Yeah. Picks up three there. On second down, we'll throw a quick slant. That one is incomplete. Trying to 
hit Isaac Tesla and Bryce Anderson back there. It gets Sanders to the left of KJ Jefferson. Pressure comes. They pick it up. Now they go up top. They have a man, and it is dropped to the end zone by Andrew Armstrong. It was there, but they could not complete the play. Wow. I mean, Chappelle, it looked like he got just a finger on that ball and did. Wow. I mean, just perfectly timed. A goal attempt from Cam Little. He hit from 52 earlier. And again, plenty of leg. It is good again. What an arsenal. <laughs> that, I don't know what his range is. He could probably kick it from 15 yards further back. Unreal. Pointer. You know, and that's uh, you know, AM fans holding their breath. It's that deep ball that has given them difficulty this season. They really ratcheted down. There's only 15 opening drive, made a catch and was tackled, fell on his shoulder, and he has uh, not been a factor and played since that moment. Here's Max Johnson. Looked like he was dinged up a bit when he fumbled on their last possession. Appears to be healthy enough to continue seeing him on the field in about a quarter and some change here. They're big play specialists, but they'll keep it on the ground to Amari Daniels off the right side. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down. Jaheim Thomas make. They'll send Noah Thomas in motion. Sets up on the right side of the line of scrimmage. Running it here on third and short. Daniels trying to kick it to the outside. Did he get enough? He did. Just barely. Oh, they're going to spot him inside the 35. Wow. They're going to say his knee was down. Hudson Clark. Went for it on fourth and short. Tight ball game. Don't want to see field position. First punt of the day for Nick Constantino. Wow. Two-time All-SEC punter with another booming kick. This one will go out of bounds. See where they end up spotting it. E.J. Green now in it running back for Arkansas. First time we've seen him in the backfield. High snap. They will hand it to A.J. A.J. Bouncing around. They'll spot him at the 19-yard. What you have to do, you, gotta, you can't just rush the edges. He'll escape right up the middle. Batted in the air, picked off. That'll be a Texas A&M touchdown. Chris Russell to the end zone, 16 yards. For six. Bonds point after. Will split the uprights. So each team with a pick six today. So watch Bryce Anderson. You see him triggering. He gets that left hand up. He was right on top of KJ Jefferson. And falls into the waiting arms of Chris Russell. See, Anderson was he was ready. You know, wasn't running in for the sack. He could see Jefferson's loading up to throw, and he was timing his jump. And we talked about it earlier in that pressure package. Arkansas cut it to four, felt pretty good about things with the football in their hands. Instead, they trail 27-16 now as that one sails through the end zone. First down and 10, K.J. Jefferson, 6 of 13 for just 84 yards through the air. They will hand it off to Rocket Sanders again, his first game back after being injured in the opener, missed three straight games. Nine-yard run on the opener. Sanders again through the middle of that line of scrimmage and just a couple of yards out to the 29 yard line. Fidel. Third down, pressure comes. KJ Jefferson can't get out of that traffic. Edger and Cooper came flying in. Now with six tackles, three behind the line, and a couple of sacks. Jefferson. Watch Sanders. You know, here's your protection back, and the pressure's going to come off this edge. Sanders, I think, just whiffs. You see, he's late. Got his hands up. KJ Jefferson a little bit nicked after that shot. The pressure getting home. Max Fletcher to Adias Smith. 
who will let it bounce, and it takes a favorable Arkansas bounce inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. And that's where the Aggies, boy, what a get he was in the transfer portal, the former Vanderbilt running back. This one is out to Moss. You know, there's only three undefeated teams. Maybe competition will stiffen. On second down, they'll toss it to Moss. Boy, he just turns the corner and gets ahead of steam up and takes three or four jerseys with the flag comes in late, though. You're talking there. During the play, personal foul, targeting on the defense, number 13. That play is now under video review. That's Walcott. Killed, injured. Nah. He came in low, turned, turned his shoulder. Uh, I'm not thinking that that one's going to stick. But this is, we talked about the offensive minds on the A&M. After video review, there is no foul for targeting. Number 13 of the defense may regain, remain in the game. The result of the play was a first down. I can certainly understand why the flag first down and 10 out of that pistol formation. We'll hand it off to Moss again, trying to turn the corner, and he can't get anywhere. Maybe a yard with well, Jordan Crook making another play for Arkansas out of that linebacker position. Pressure comes. Max Johnson just unloads it. They're going to say the end from the 46-yard line. Max Johnson, 16 of 23 today. Pressure comes again. He is walloped as he lets it go, and that'll be an incomplete pass. But, man, did he get crushed. Getting the FBS and punt return average coming into this game at over 25. A booming kick. This is returnable for Satane. Lost to football. On the turf, the Aggies will have it inside the 10-yard line. Oh, and the scramble is on. I think it was the 12th man, Sam Matthews, that causes this fumble. It is. In Arkansas, the officials initially signaled that Arkansas somehow got the ball back. Boy, there were two Aggies that fell on that football. Rolling on the field, as the ball is recovered by Arkansas. How in the down. world did Arkansas get that football? <laughs> That's amazing. What a turn of events. There what? were two white jerseys laying on top of it. Edron Cooper almost caught it midair. I, I don't know how in the world. <laughs> I don't know how. How did Harmon not come up with this? You see Sam Matthews. Cooper almost catches it. Not had an easy day. Trying to throw here. Has plenty of time. Asking for some help. KJ. Out to the 20 yard line. 10. Dump it off here. Pass is caught. Varkey's Gums. Pressure comes from the edge. Hawks pick it up. Jefferson. He will tuck it for a moment. Pump fake, and he will. Be written out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Well, good 14 times for 19 yards. Low snap. KJ looking downfield. Pump fakes, and he will be dropped momentarily. He is fighting and clawing for every inch, but just got back to the line of scrimmage. Five sacks now by the Aggies defense. Naya Smith fields it, backpedaling to the 16. Smith trying to turn the corner. He'll be out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Hey, moments ago, Alyssa Lane caught up with Coach Sam Pittman today. There's been no rhythm. It's choppy. It has lack of consistency, just like Coach Pittman said. Handoff goes to the youngster, Rubino. He's off the left side. He'll have it up to the 37-yard line. Max Johnson, 16 to 24, 192, two touchdowns and an interception going up top here. 
And that one is knocked away at the last moment. Good job on the back end from Hudson Clark, who's been a little banged up this week in practice. They were trying to hit it. Aggies going empty set. Four-man rush. Johnson fires, passes high and caught. They're going to say, is that a reception? Did he get a foot inbounds? My goodness, Stewart got walloped. They will spot it across midfield at the 49. Watch this catch by Stewart. The extension. Watch the left foot come down. Oh, what a grab. He's in there. Now, if somehow his heel had come down, that would have been considered out of bounds, even though the toe taps. That left foot is down. That's a catch. Wow, great job by Stewart. Good job by the official. He was all over it. First and ten, handoff. Not much there. From teammates on that Aggie sideline. Inside the 40, Moss down to the 37. Two tight ends set. Keep it on the ground. That'll be a first down. Le'Veon Moss, boy, he hits that hole going full throttle. They have really nice combo block by the tight end and left tackle. Trey Zoon. And watch this. Watch Zoon. He's going to double up to this linebacker. There's your hole. You're running right at that bubble. You can cover up the linebacker. That's pretty. Right downhill. No cuts. And Moss says, look, I don't need to do a whole lot with this. I just need to lower my head and run hard. Daniels in the game at running back now. He'll hand it to him, and he'll get it to the 30, gain of a yard. Much of anything. Second down and nine. Johnson swings it out, and that one's dropped right into the hands of Amari Daniels and turned that head too quickly, and it hits the turf. Third down and nine. Well, look at this void. Boy, pressure coming. Johnson feels it, throws high, incomplete. Trying to hit his brother Jake. And it'll be fourth down. And Iden hit from 34. Out of the hold of Nick Constantino. The snap of Jacob Graham. This kick is on the way. And plenty of leg. And it is no good. Boy, Arkansas dodges another one and stays in this. Down 11 with 9.59 to go here in the fourth quarter. We'll head back to eight. Where will Arkansas go to find some offense? They'll start it off here, running it with Rashad DeBinion, and he'll go backwards. A lot of white jerseys surrounding the football. So they're going to have to make a play for their quarterback. Quarterback's got to give them a chance. KJ Jefferson again, pocket collapses in a hurry. I mean, he didn't have any time to get his eyes down the field. Another sack. That is number six. It was Russell and York. A loss of nine. And that time they had Malik Silla. He was standing up. He was a stand-up rush today. Pressure again. Trying to set up a little screen. They do. They get it to Sanders. And he is one arm tackled by Shamar Turner, who just wouldn't let go. And how about that drive starting at the 30, and they're going to spot the ball back at the 15 and bring in their punting unit. And this is what, so you're going to bail out in the middle, and you're going to end up with pressure off of the stunt. Confusion, really, because it happens so fast. Fadil Diggs got upfield so quickly that they had to dump it up. And a great job by Turner, who you got to think, you're third and 10-plus. you got to be baited up for the screen, especially after they got hurt on it earlier. Booming kick by Fletcher, bobbled by Smith, scoops it up. Anias coming near side. Anias Smith, he's to midfield, cuts it back. This one may go to the house. Ain't nobody gonna catch Anias Smith. He's a great receiver. Coach Fisher was talking about he's a great running back. He is a wicked 
return man. And it's just a matter of time. But number zero gets his touches before he makes an explosive play in any contest. Able to cut it back. It's great blocking initially, too, for him to get upfield and get moving. One of only two. Point after is up and good. Anaya Smith. They say he can be just as good at the running back as he is a wide receiver. But you know what, folks? He thinks he's a defensive back from his high school days. He begs for the opportunity, but you see why they don't put him back there. Somebody gotta shut things down. Somebody gotta strike the match, break the ass. That one will sail out of bounds. He's always there, especially from a leadership play, leadership standpoint, guys. Yeah, special player for sure, Alyssa. Handoff goes to Dominique Johnson. By the way, because he bobbled that. Punt return. I, no, I, counted, yeah. I counted every yard. It's your gut instinct. <laughs> Here's KJ Jefferson. He's dropped again. This is crazy. That is Walter Nolan with his second sack today. That is number seven for this defense. Remember, they came in. Spending a lot of time in the Arkansas backfield. Jefferson again is dropped. My goodness. They can't block the guys up front for Texas A&M. Well, and K.J. Jefferson, at some point, yes, part of part of your game is staying alive in the pocket. But at some point, as you see the edge pressure here, at some point, you got to unload this football. You can't continue to take these negative yardage plays. Feel that. That time, able to get home. 15 tackles for loss. Here's Anaya Smith. Can he do it again? Cuts it back to the 20. Makes a man miss. Dancing around across midfield to the 46-yard line. A 43-yard return. It is all Texas A&M. Timeout on the field. Celebrating, apparently to the effect of Brad Johnson, guys ripping his shirt off in celebration of that play. Ripped it clean off. Uh, we've been told that there is video of this. Boy, loose football down on the turf, and let's see who comes up with it. It'll be Arkansas football. So the Hogs will have it around the 36-yard line. Another Texas A&M turnover here in the second half. That one was recovered by Antonio Greer. The young man's been transferred in from uh, South Florida. Been banged up most of this season. Well, it, it, it was a bad snap. High snap. Shot. K.J. Jefferson hands it off. Dominic Johnson with that carry. They're really high on him. It's just hard to get carries, especially with Sanders back playing again. That one is incomplete. A flag comes in, though. Tyrone Broden was the receiver in the area. Pass interference on the defense number 11. That 15 yards only will be forced from the previous spot. And it carries an automatic first down. They forced the last couple of games. Had 11 against LSU, 15 two weeks earlier against BYU. Games, they've held both opponents' starting quarterbacks to under 100 yards passing. Now they go up top, and KJ Jefferson overthrows his intended target. Tyrone broke downfield. KJ Jefferson going deep down the middle has Andrew Armstrong. He makes the catch, and that'll be an Arkansas touchdown. He beat Josh DeBerry 48 yards. Little end around to Satania. He will be dropped at the three yard line. So, of course, good that they're taking the precaution. They're glad that it's precautionary. 
Here's the onside kick, and this one is batted in the air a couple of times, but I think the Aggies will come up with it. Well, ball hung in the air. Just enough. Finally, this was almost perfectly executed. And Max Johnson going under center. Boy, it's just kind of every time you see a quarterback go under center these days. Yeah. That handoff goes to Moss. And he is all the way down to the 34-yard line. They ran through about three tackles. Oh. Running back, they line up in that traditional I formation. Just power football. Moss bringing the speed to the power. He's down to the five. Run out of bounds by Jaden Johnson. It'll be first and goal, Texas A&M. 30 yards on that run. You get these heavy formations. Great job by Moss of just bouncing that ball outside. Nice blocking up front. Rear high, up to 103 yards. Trying to add a couple more here. He'll get it down to the one. He had a career high 97 last week. Tied in set. Second and goal. Here's Moss left side, and he will be stopped just short. This is almost inevitable. And it off again to Moss, working the left side, and he is stopped there and pushed back. Actually, they'll spot it. They'll hand it off to Moss, driving to the goal line. He will be. Stop short. The Aggies are hoping for the touchdown, but they're going to say no touchdown. End of the game. And it'll finish up at 34 to 22. The whistle blew to stop his forward progress. So that is your ball game. And I think that uh, if my math is right, that might have had some some implications on the. Outcome for a lot of folks. Let's go down to Alyssa. Coach, Max Johnson makes his first start this season as QB1. What did you make of your guy? I thought he did a great job in the first half. Had a, we had a couple mistakes in the second. And then he got his composure back and took us down for a good field goal drive and a big drive at the end and, and managed out. We got a lot of work to do, but he, he did a good job and we got to get better as a team. Your defense felt like with sack after sack after sack. What impressed you the most about the way they played? The consistency in which they play with, playing the run really well. And I think the discipline we rushed with, we didn't allow him to get out. KJ is so dangerous when he rushes. We had the integrity of the rush lane and got him on, and then we got him on the ground in the pocket. How big of a moment was it for Anaya Smith to take that punt back to the house after what happened here a year ago? Exactly right. And for him, that we needed that. Anaya is our guy. That's our guy. He he steps up, he's the ultimate competitor and does what he has to do when he has to do it. And that was huge for us and got the game back in our hands. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Thank you. Boy, good win for Texas A&M, folks. They look to be the real deal here as we hit the midway point or close to it of this season. They go to 4-1, and 2-0 and in the league. Arkansas drops to 2-3 and three and 0-2 oh in the SEC. Max Johnson got this thing rolling. And he'll have two touchdown passes. Le'Veon Moss with over 100 yards rushing, and the defense was spectacular today. So for Matt Stinchcomb, Melissa Lang, the rest of our exceptional crew, I'm Dave Neal saying so long from Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium where the Aggies win it by a dozen. Let's get you to Dari in the studio. All right, guys, thank you very much. It's